Smoking Aces movie review. So this is one of those movies that I had never heard of before, but I just saw it in the video rental store and decided on a whim to check it out. It was terrible. Uh, quite possibly the worst movie I've ever seen. Although, I don't know, I've seen a lot of bad movies, so, you know, the competition is pretty stiff. But it definitely is one of the worst movies I've ever seen. Uh, the plot of the movie is there's this former FBI mobster who has turned witness uh, for the FBI, a stool pigeon. So he's hiding out in a hotel in Lake Tahoe, Nevada. Uh, the FBI is trying to find him and grab him before the mob can. Uh, the bail bondsmen are looking to get him before the FBI can. And then the mob has put out a, a reward on him. So there are actually several different competing mobsters and hitmen who are hoping to get him and get the reward. So basically the plot is there's all these different people looking to all grab the same guy. Now, with all these different characters and motivations, uh, I was hoping this movie would do something like Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels, where you have all these kind of uh, separate but connected plot threads, and they kind of bounce off each other and kind of influence each other, like, you know, one guy from one plot thread will kind of uh, do something which impacts another plot thread. But unfortunately, uh, this movie is actually not that smart. Uh, the, the writers don't have the brains to do that. So what happens is you've got all these different plot threads, and then they just kind of come together at the end for one big shoot 'em up or orgy of violence. A lot of people get shot up. Now, the movie didn't bother to make me care about any of these people as characters. So you don't really care when they get shot up. Uh, you just kind of watch the blood and gore flying around with a detached attitude. Or, I don't know, I think maybe you were supposed to be laughing at some of this. Uh, like some of the gruesome deaths were meant to be comedic. One of the guys sits down on a chainsaw by mistake. Uh, I think that was supposed to be a comedy beat. I was never really sure. It's hard to tell a bit. Uh, you do get the sense, though, that there's supposed to be a morbid sense of humor in this movie that's maybe trying to imitate and perhaps even outdo somebody like Quentin Tarantino. They get all the blood and gore parts, but the humor part just never really flies. Uh, the humor falls flat. There's a twist at the end, which is supposed to be a kind of a Kaiser Soze moment, but I saw this coming from a long way away, and I think most people will as well. Uh, it's just way too obvious.